Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. And as you can see, I'm not vlogging this week due to the fact that I've started my semester at university and I really don't have any spare time. Actually, it's not that I don't have spare time to vlog, it's just nothing is happening in my life. It's constantly just work and studies I'm not visiting the gym, I'm not going to massages, it's really bad. I hope that that will change next week. But this past week, it's been just such a slump. I was not motivated to do anything, and I decided that I'll just shoot a makeup get ready with me. Just my makeup that I usually put on myself when I am shooting content or I have clients at my office. This is just my work makeup. It's not even every day because every day I wear nothing because i don't want to make my skin you know bad i don't want <laughs> you know that video when the girl is saying like oh you know uh makeup is bad for your skin because it absorbs everything that's me i believe that i believe that girls should wear makeup if they want to but it is bad for you and today i'll be showing you all the chemicals i put on my face and what i, what I do to my hair to make it look like this because I feel like my hair has been in its optimal condition for the past maybe couple of months and I'm really excited about that and we're going to be drinking hot cocoa which matches my wall I'm really proud of that and <laughs> yeah I hope you enjoy so this is all of the makeup that I use if I'm not shooting content I use nothing because I don't care about makeup that much I don't care about looking put together that much it's really not a priority in my life, especially with the amount of work and studies that I have. Not a priority at all. So everything is in this gold container and I also have a gold mirror, which is inside of this container. Because right now I'm in love with everything gold and silver and everything blingy. <laughs> because it is the winter holiday season. So the first thing I do, of course, with every makeup routine is I clean my face. I'm not going to do that in the office because... I don't have the necessary conditions for that, but after that, I wet my beauty blender. This beauty blender is from the brand Chic or Chic. I don't know. It's a Russian brand. It's a great beauty blender. And I take my foundation, which is this one. It's like Korean cosmetics or something. It has SPF in it. It's actually BB cream, not foundation. But yeah, I put this on my face. It's like a one-size-fits-all foundation, which means that you buy this color and it adapts to your skin tone. So it camouflages, which is really cool. I don't know the science behind it. All of the makeup that you see in this video, it was recommended to me, to me by Karina, who is a makeup artist and also one of my assistants, like one day I just told her that I need makeup and she was like, yeah, no problem, we can go shopping. And we shopped around with her for like three hours and she solved all of my makeup problems. Because in the past I was like, why doesn't my makeup look as professional as the looks that I see on Instagram? Then after my shopping with Karina, I realized that it's not possible having only like five makeup products in your bag. So now I have like 15 and I think I can achieve something similar to what the beauty vloggers or bloggers create on their faces. So yeah, I'm using this ma this makeup mirror from Kirchenland. I think you can see my... No, you can't see anything. So I'm using this makeup mirror from Kirchenland, which is like a Zara slash Ikea uh, home store, which is the cutest store ever. I mean, it's the first Russian store where I want to buy everything. And yeah, so I put the foundation like on my, on my wrist. I take the beauty blender and I dab. Oh no, I forgot to put the crab. I forgot to put the hair clip into my hair or otherwise I'll get it dirty. Okay, this is gonna be really awkward. Yeah, so I take like a golden hair clip. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna be fine for now. 
and I put it in my hair so it doesn't, you know, go in my face. And then I start applying the makeup like this. Like, I don't think you have to watch this because, I mean, everybody does it the same, I think. You just put it on the, under the eyes and where you need to cover up things. I mean, I believe I'm beautiful, but... <laughs> Makeup is designed to make us all look like clones in one way or another. And why not? If you are a part of a tribe or if you're part of a group, you have higher chances of survival. So blending in, like so, <laughs> from the standpoint of our uh, brain, <laughs> gives us better chance chances for survival. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I think I would have explained it better in, in Russian because the history courses I took in my life, they were all Russian. Like, if you talk to me about economics, of course, please use English. <laughs> but all the history classes I took in my life were Russian. So I think I would explain that better in Russian. But historically, um, our instincts tell us that we have to be a part of a group, a social group, in order to survive because the world is pretty harsh and if you're in a group you will survive if you're not in a group that means you're gonna die so i'm doing my best to camouflage my way into <laughs> surviving amongst other women and other people of the human race <laughs> that's so funny okay so here you can see it's a clear it's a blank slate and the next steps are really different for me every day. I get the exact same result every time, but just the path to that result is always different. Because sometimes I want to start applying, you know, all of the contouring. Sometimes I want to start with my lips. Sometimes I start with my brows. It's always, I don't know, a matter of what I'm feeling. So today I'm feeling like contouring because I'm literally sitting in front of a huge ass <laughs> mirror and I look like a ghost, which is a normal thing. <laughs> Once you've evened out your skin tone, your face looks pretty flat, which is a normal thing. Once you put on BB cream, foundation, etc. I don't use any concealer because, I don't know, I feel like the BB cream does a good enough job. I take this huge fluffy brush. I think it's like synthetic. It's a really cool brush. It's really, really soft. And then I take this bronzer. I sometimes skip contouring because I feel the contour, the contouring powder, it's very cool toned for my face and I prefer warm tones. The bronzer is a perfect warm tone for my face. So I take it, I dab it <laughs> as usual, and I do it like this. <laughs> it's so fun. It's like this step is like the step that I didn't do in my makeup routine ever before Karina and I might be bad at it I don't know like my husband says it adds like 20 years to my age after this step <laughs> but like he's he has a right to his opinion but it is kind of sad when he tells me that he does prefer me without makeup but I know like some some of my friends' husbands, they adore when their wives put on makeup. So yeah, I don't know what I think about that, but I do believe that everybody has a right to their opinion and I'm not going to force anybody to like my makeup because <laughs> I can't control other people. Can you believe that? Okay, so that's what I do for contouring. Essentially, I put bronzer instead of contour. Yep. Where is the makeup police? I think they need to put me in jail. <laughs> okay, so I usually do that and then I do my brows. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my husband's t-shirt and like a top with this asymmetrical shoulder situation going on because it's too cold for a t-shirt, but I still wanted to wear my husband's t-shirt. I don't know why. I was feeling like I wanted to wear something baggy, but at the same time I wanted to be warm. So this is my fashion choice for today. And I'm also wearing like these sweatpants. 
So they're actually fleece sweatpants. Okay, so that's for my contouring. I don't know. It looks, I don't know if it looks good or not. I'm not an expert to tell myself if it's good or bad. Okay, so next I'm gonna do my brows. But before that, I would like to share with y'all the cutest notebooks that I printed out for my New Year's party. So I decided that I'm going to hold like a New Year's party for my friends and some of the people that I work with whose, whose company I really enjoy. And I printed out these notebooks and I chose all of these pictures from Pinterest myself and I put these quotes on each of the notebooks. And it only costs like $1.50 to print out each of these. And I love that they're so personalized and they have the exact vibe that I was looking for. So if anybody ever wants to give their friends something really cool for Christmas or for New Year's, I would, I really... <laughs> recommend for you guys to design your own stationery to go and go to any printing place where they print this type of these types of things out and get yourself some Christmas presents for a small amount of money because this cost me $12. Can you imagine? I don't I don't remember the exact price but it was about $12 for all of these. I think in America is going to be more expensive, but in Russia it was pretty cheap. So these have cinnabons on them. This has like this cute girl with a bow. Native is the name of my brand. <laughs> okay. Marshmallows in a cute ceramic cup. Fuzzy slippers from Amazon. I know that on Pinterest there's a lot of advertisements. and But they're still really aesthetically beautiful. So I put these Amazon slippers on a notebook. So here I have like this uh, dinner situation new year's situation going on and i have this quote like doubt but they crossed out the u b t and you have the word do motivational quotes yeah i know and another uh hot chocolate marshmallow situation a romantic date near a christmas tree and another hot chocolate near Christmas tree. So they're all really cute and I think my friends and my and the people who I work with they will love them. So as for my brows I use this pencil which also has a built-in brush in it and I fill in only like from here to here and from here to here. I don't fill in like the beginning of my brows. I just fill in the outer corners because that's what's going to frame my face and not make it heavier. So yeah. The next thing, I need to drink my hot chocolate, my hot cocoa. It's not hot. <laughs> okay, next, I think I'm going to try to do my eyeshadow, but I'm the worst at eyeshadow, although I did finish art school, but I'm so bad at eyeshadow. Ugh. So, what I use for eyeshadow is I use this palette it's a really nice palette um, my friend Karina who is a makeup artist she uses this palette to do the makeup of her brides which is so amazing and she um, she told me to buy this because it has all of the basic colors starting from white until like this purplish black color and then I use this brush for doing the eyeshadow. I don't know how dark I'm going to go today because I always have a choice, you know, if I'm going to go this dark, this dark, or this dark, and I don't know how dark I'm going to go today. But today I'm going to a viewing of an apartment. Once again, can you imagine? It's actually within our budget. It's really run down, but we think that it has excellent rental property potential if we fix it up just a little, a little bit so we're going to be looking at that place today and then we're going to be inspecting it so i need i think i need some eyeshadow which is not going to be too dramatic so i'm going to go probably not darker than this but since i'm bad at eyeshadow in regular life i prefer not to do it at all because i don't want to risk ruining ruining my makeup look so yeah and cue the time lapse I don't know, it just never works.
<laughs> oh god, I don't know. Um, I have to learn how to blend this stuff out some way or another. Okay, so, um, I don't know, really. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm going to take a lighter shade and I'm going to put it closer to the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to take this shade. So I use this shade, now I'm going to use this shade. Put it on my finger, like this. Oops, I went a little bit too light. <laughs> and this is how you screw up a makeup look. I'm telling you that I look so much better without eyeshadow. I mean, there was a time when Karina, she... She, like, gave me the most beautiful eyeshadow look. I think it's not the eyeshadow's fault. It's my fault. I don't know how to do it that well. So, and I don't want you, you guys to say in the comments, like, oh, you're doing okay, because I know that I'm not doing okay. I know exactly where I am in my eyeshadow blending skills. <laughs> yeah, eyeshadow is not my forte. Okay, this is gonna have to do. Okay, whatever, whatever. Next is 100% highlighter. I need to fix the situation with highlighter. I believe personally that highlighter will fix all of my life problems. So, <laughs> okay, here is my highlighter brush. And the highlighter I use, it's with my contour that I should have used instead of bronzer. But I don't care. It's my makeup. I'm going to be aggressive because... Because I can. This is the highlighter I used. This is the contour that I should have used. And I'm going to put the highlighter here. It's going to fix my eyeshadow. It always fixes my eyeshadow. Probably it's not going to fix anything, but whatever. Yeah, that's better. Ah. No. Okay. Next, it goes here on my... What is it called? It's not a brow bone. This is the brow bone, and this is my... I don't remember what's it called. Whatever. Summon my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. Also, probably on the inner corners of my eyes. It looks okay, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't with this makeup. It's really bad. It's really blended. Not well. Uh, whatever. Whatever. I'm just telling you, I'm just showing you the struggle that I go through every morning. Um, so when I hear like influencers and other people say that their makeup is bad, when they're doing their makeup, I roll my eyes because I feel genuinely I feel genuinely that their makeup is really good. And when they start like trash talking themselves, like, oh my makeup is so bad, like, uh, I'm like, girl, no, this is bad. Not what you're doing. So I can't find my lip products, but they're probably in my bag because I take them everywhere I go. E -e everywhere I go. I hope I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> so this is an eyeshadow palette that my friend gave me. For, I think, my birthday, my 23rd birthday. It's a revolution palette. And I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to take, like, a champagne tone. Like this one or this one. Or maybe this one. And I'm going to put it on my eyes. Just for some bling. Because you guys know that I love the holidays especially in November, and why not dress my eyeshadow look up a bit and try to salvage it with blingy eyeshadow, and I, of course, made it even worse, but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna pull through. We're gonna do mascara. We're gonna do lip, my lips, and we're gonna save this makeup look. <laughs> As you can obviously tell, I can't do makeup without breaks because I need a mental break after each stage. So we're gonna unbox a plate from Kuchenland. 
as you remember, this mirror is from Kuchenland, which is my favorite home decor store. And the story of this bowl, um, in August, I encountered a really, really cute bowl, which I wanted to buy, but it was so darn expensive. It was like 17 bucks for a bowl. And I was like, it's really cute, but it's impractical. And I'm probably, I'm not a fan of overspending my money, although I love spending my money. So I was like, okay, if it's really meant to be, it's going to find me <laughs> by itself. And it did. So I went on a resale like marketplace like a couple of weeks ago and I saw this bowl and it was 50% less than at the store. It is in new condition. So I was like, this is meant to be. And I immediately bought it for only $9. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show it to you. I think you guys are going to understand me once I show it to you. And I'm not usually a fan of this animal, but this was so cute. <laughs> it's probably going to live in my office because it's really impractical. But look, oh, look at these two hedgehogs. Oh, like, wow, that's so cute. And they're ceramic and they're inserted in the bowl. They're attached to the bowl. So when I described this plate to my mother, she was like, that's so impractical. Like, you're going to have, like, no energy to wash that so but i don't regret anything it's gonna be in my office maybe it's gonna be like this candy bowl for my clients super cute super cute i'm so happy i bought this and the girl who sent this was so i don't know she was so positive and she was so helpful and yeah i'm gonna leave her like a five star review so cute so cute don't regret it at all i don't know if you guys know but with all of my like makeup products I'm really conservative so if I find a good product I stick with it for the longest time and that applies to this lip pencil which is the perfect lip color and it costs like three bucks and I've been using it for the past maybe five or six years and it just it ties everything together in all of my makeup looks and I, I always use some sort of lip balm for moisturizing before putting on the lip pencil, which is probably, I don't know if that's what you usually do for makeup, but yeah, that's what I do. And of course I overline my top lip because it's non-existent. <laughs> I'm going to time lapse this. You can say hello to my upper lip now because it started to exist. Next I'm going to show you the product which started my relationship with luxury brands because before that I didn't really buy anything because I did not have any money and like last year for New Year's I was like okay I'm going to buy myself a gift and I bought myself this Givenchy lipstick I was looking for the perfect staple red color and I chose this one. It has like this velvet case and it says Givenchy on it. It has, where's the logo? Here's the logo. And it's number 36. It's a perfect red color, but when I mix it with this color, it becomes this rouge color. So you also have like the logo on the lipstick itself. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> And I just apply it just on some places of my lip just to make it more rosy and less nude. Although this color, it's by the brand Givenchy and everything, it's like a luxury premium brand. This costs like, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks for a lipstick, yeah. And Although it is like a premium brand, it really dries up my lips. So it's really not the best formula. But I just, every time I wear that lipstick, I feel like a queen. And I've had so many photo shoots with that lipstick. It has inspired me to do so many different like advertising campaigns. I mean, in the end, it's worth it. Although it does damage my lips, which is a big negative. And next for mascara, I use Vivienne Sabot Cabaret, like the go-to Russian girl drugstore mascara 
that you can find so it's also very cheap it's like five bucks and it does the job not a big fan of mascara overall because i like to you can see my leg overall because it just is impractical and every time i do mascara i want to sneeze maybe because of the components or maybe because of you know what my eyes feel when i'm putting on the mascara so i always want to sneeze and then throughout the day i always want to like touch my eyes or something i just i don't know and mascara just ruins everything for me and sometimes i want to cry during the day and i also can't do that when i have mascara on so yeah but mascara does change the overall look and it ties it all together just like lip products do so like i feel like lips and mascara they just make the look look finished and complete i don't do my lower lashes because i don't feel like that's necessary because it's really because that space is already pretty dark like underneath my eyes <laughs> because of the eye bags that i have and etc that's a joke i don't think i have eye bags not big ones anyways <laughs> okay that looks okay okay yeah that's that's good that's good so that's essentially all i do for makeup really that's it's really not that much but we're also going to do some of my hair this is my hair on the second day after the wash so it's not in perfect condition but i brush it out typically okay and then i take my kevin murphy texturizing spray it's like dry powder finishing hairspray texturizing powder so it's like this kevin murphy i don't know if you can see that but it's also considered like a premium product because it's so expensive and i always want to sneeze after i use it i don't know what it is with me and makeup products but they always make me want to sneeze so if i want my roots to really pop and for them to look voluminous i put this hairspray and i just put it through my hair i spread it through my hair and then on this side too because i have like these i don't know what they're called like curtain curtain bangs i don't know what they're called so that's what i do to my hair and after I wash it, I put my favorite oil on it, which is this oil. Also very expensive. I don't know what it's what it is with me and hair products, but in the past couple of months they've become <laughs> like high-end products. I'm not really proud of that, but anyways, it's like the Nashi Argan oil and it's from Italy. Really good oil. And then I put and then I separate my hair into two even parts. So this is the end result. I really love it. And yeah, I've been perfecting this makeup look ever since I first put foundation on my face when I was 13 until today. And I think I've mastered makeup in general. Like not for a prof like not as a professional but as like a a normal person. And I haven't mastered, of course, eyeshadow yet or contouring, but those two steps are fairly new in my routine. So I'm not putting pressure on myself to be perfect. Yeah, but as for my hair, I'm so proud of myself because a couple of months ago I got, you know, layers in my hair. And they've transformed the way my hair looks because I have really straight hair and it would just lay flat and it wouldn't look interesting so when i got layers the only thing i do is put this texturizing spray in my hair i wash it i put this texturizing spray in my hair and they look so good so ah uh, i recommend to everybody for you guys to get like layers or something cool done to your hair because that is a deal breaker it makes your hair look so good so well put together so i don't know if you've extracted any value from this video besides just maybe relaxation so let me know what you guys think of this video it is a new format for me and yeah leave your feed leave your feedback i will be reading all of it and 
I'll see you guys next week for another video from my channel.